Monday. Happy Monday, everyone. Today we're looking at the concept of disciplined. And if you're feeling like you're not disciplined enough as an actor, as an actress, this is what we're going to be looking at. So, <coughs> sorry, I'm still forever sick. Um, so you may um, catch yourself feeling like there's so much that you have to do for your acting career. Um, hi, Anna, I see you there. Um, you may feel like anything from, oh, I have to take another class with another teacher or learn another method or go to another workshop, another casting director workshop, a camera workshop, an agent workshop. I have to redo my headshot. <laughs> I forgot the word. I have to, you know, redo my reel or I have to do a reel or I have to change cities or I have to send letters and I have to network and I have to train and I have to find some auditions by myself or I have to find an agent or another agent. I mean, there's so much to do that you may feel like, yeah, there's so much. I need to be more disciplined. I need to be doing all of these things all of the time because if not, I can't. I can't have the type of career that I want. I can't feel great as an actor. And um, you're feeling that you don't have time, basically, because there's so much to do that you have one day that's 24 hours during which you also sleep and live and eat. And you may be feeling like you, it, this is too much. It's a lot. And I totally get it. Um, it is a lot. And the bad news is I think the more we go and the more technology there is, the more you'll have to do. There'll be another social media soon where you have to start and get a following and do that too. And so it may feel like an endless uh, list of things to do. And because you've been trained to work hard, to do things hard, to be disciplined, you've been asked to, you've been forced to, you may be feeling that if you're not able to do <laughs> Hi, Claude. If you're not able to do all of those things, you may be feeling, I'm not disciplined enough. It's it's me. It's my fault. I need to be harder. I need to work harder. And you're being hard on yourself. And I know that, um, you know, you may feel like th this, this, I can do more. Um, um, it, there's a point where you're like, oh, shoot, like I actually don't have the energy to get out of bed or I don't have the energy to do another headshot and where am I going to find the, the, the money for that and my day job. And I mean, it's just so much, it's really overwhelming. And, um, you may have tried to do more, but it hasn't worked. And I am wanting to talk about the topic of discipline because discipline is actually not where it's at. You being hard on yourself and you, kind of borrowing the conditioning and the programming that you <coughs> I'm sorry I'm sorry I'm sorry this is what it sounds like when I'm sick um you borrowing that narrative that you always have to do more and that you have to be hard on yourself and that you have to pressure yourself and that you have to be better and that you have to improve and that you have to be military and disciplined is excuse my french but it's utter bullshit it has nothing to do with art. It has nothing to do with a fulfilled life. It has nothing to do with happiness. It's just freaking conditioning. It's just programming. And you've been in it for so long that now you think that you need to discipline yourself, that you need to have more discipline. And that's so far from the truth. It's so... It's so far from the truth that it's kind of the opposite of what you need. It's the opposite of what you need. Because the root of this problem of you thinking that you need to do more, and that you need to show up more structured and more disciplined, the core reason why you think that is just your conditioning. It has nothing to do with what you actually need. You were raised to function that way. You were raised to compare yourself to others, to always fight harder, always do more. And, and you were asked to not be you in the process of that. You were asked to do, 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 but you weren't ever, ever honored or asked to just be, to 
to just be you. To just be you. You weren't ever honored for that. You weren't invited to just be you. And you weren't ever told that that was enough. And that was perfect. It's perfect for you to cry right now. It's perfect for you to be angry right now. It's perfect for you to be sad right now. It's okay if you're afraid. I get it. It's scary. You didn't hear that. And at school, you weren't asked what you wanted to do during the day. You were disciplined into listening, following, obeying. That's how you've been raised. You weren't honored. You weren't asked, oh, how, what, what would you like today? Who are you? How are you feeling? And therefore, what would you like to do? That was never presented as a possibility to you. So when you have a capacity to be who you are, not to try to be something else, not to try to discipline, not to try to do more, 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 but if you could just have a possibility to be in your body, in your feelings, with yourself, then everything changes. Because when you're being you, then the doing you is aligned with who you are. Then the way you show up for all the things you want to do is with wanting, with I get to do these things because I want to do them because this is who I am and I know what I want, not what I should want, but this is what I want. And therefore, there's nothing else that I would like to do but this. It's a very different energy to show up and do all the things because you want to do them in your heart rather than I'm going to do all of these things. I don't even know why. Because I have to, because I've been told to, because I've been pushed into that and disciplined into that my entire life. And so doing becomes very overwhelming and there's always more and you can't even decipher what do I want to do what do I not want to do I just got to do it all because that's how I've been raised I'm not good enough so I have to do all of it right so you do, do you see the difference between if I can be who I am feel my feelings I get to actually discern what works for me what doesn't what I like what I don't like what I want what I don't want and from there I'm able to show up for the actions I want to take. And I don't need discipline. That's focus. That's alignment. I'm here. I'm authentic. I'm truthful. I feel what I feel. And therefore, I focus on that. Whereas discipline is, I'm not here. I'm whatever you want me to be. Okay, I'll do that. Okay, I'll do that. Okay, I'll try to do all of it. And nowhere on that path am I present. And as an artist, that doesn't work. As an artist, if you're not present, you're not making any art. Because it actually is the one ingredient you need for any art is yourself. Your true self, your feelings, your emotions, your thoughts, your behavior, your movements, your uniqueness, your humanity. So discipline... is what you need to push yourself when you're not in there. Discipline is what you need to do all of the things that other people said you have to do when you're not present even in your body. You don't need discipline when you're really being you, you're free, you're authentic, you're clear, you know what you want, and therefore you show up for it because there's nothing else you'd rather do. So it's really easy. That's what a lot of people report actually when resetting that's the work we do is to help people reset, to go back to how they were when they were born. And it becomes easy. It's so easy to just be you. And therefore, you do the things that only you would do. And they're the only things you would do because you wouldn't do anything else. Yes, I am recording this. I, I'll post it. Kaya, thank you. Um, so no, you don't need discipline. You need you. You need to be able to be you. When you be you, then inevitably you're focused, you're aligned, and you'll focus on what you want, what you like, what you love, and you'll just do it. And yes, therefore you'll have 
right? And if you're not being you, then you need discipline from your conditioning to push you, to pressure you, to obligate you, to have to do certain things because other people told that's the way to get to that thing, to have that thing that you don't even know that you want because you're not there in the first place. You're not being you. And so if you even get it, there'll be no satisfaction. And that's why some people get all the way up the ladder and then still jump off the window because there's really no life in having anything. It's being Then you do, then you have. But if you skip being and you go straight to doing, there's no having that makes any sense, that makes for any fulfillment, any happiness. So no, you don't need more discipline. You need more being. By the way, people can't focus you, right? When you're being yourself, you're naturally focused on what you want what you love and you do it from a place of pleasure and the natural consequence is that you have what you want since you're doing what you want. But uh, people can't focus you. However, discipline is something that people can do to you. You were disciplined when you were little. You were disciplined. It means you were forced to do things you didn't want to do. So if you're trying to find discipline in your life or in your art, You're still allowing people to tell you what to do. And you didn't like it in the first place, so why would you do it now? Right? So if this makes sense, by the way, if you want to feel free, feel you 100%, just comment the word free 100 in the the comments. And uh, we'll send you a link um, to see... If this makes sense to you, we can send you some trainings and we'll get in touch with you and see where you're at. Um, You'll have to write it, Kaya. You have to write free one zero zero so that it will pick it up. If not, it won't. I love that you put the little emoji though. I love that emoji. Um... (laughs) <laughs> all right well thank you guys i'm going back to being sick blowing my nose offline and um i will see you again on wednesday for a case study a testimonial and um kaya i will send you the um i will i will uh, this will be in the post so you can forward it and yeah, if you're interested in in uh, hearing more, <coughs> just write free one zero zero, and then you'll receive some information. All right. Okay. Thank you, guys. Good connecting. Bye.